In the previous video, we demonstrated how to create a molecule by drawing the atoms and bonds manually with MarvinJS. In this video, we'll show how to read a ligand from a PDB structure. The structure 5JY6 contains a protein and its ligand, which is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. To extract this ligand from the PDB structure, type the PDB ID below the canvas, then click Load PDB ID. Ligand Reader and Modeler will then search the corresponding entry in RCSB for a list of ligands. To get an idea of what's happening, let's look at the RCSB page for 5JY6. Scrolling down to the Small Molecules section, we see two entries, NAD and MG. When Ligand Reader finishes, it will list both of these. NAD is the one we're looking for, so we'll select it. This loads the structure into the canvas. It's important to note that the structure that Ligand Reader uses is not always exactly the same as the structure in the PDB file. Rather, the structure used by Ligand Reader corresponds to the entry for that ligand in RCSB. This is important because the PDB file for 5JY6 does not show hydrogen atoms, but hydrogen atoms are shown in this structure. Going back to RCSB, we can click on the link for NAD to see the structure that Ligand Reader is using. The major thing to notice about this structure is that the nitrogen atom in the nicotinamide group has a double bond and two single bonds, which adds up to four bonds giving it a positive charge. This corresponds to the oxidized form of NAD. When we get to the step one page, we can see that there is no exact match for the NAD molecule we uploaded, and instead we have four matches under this section for different protonation states. If we look at one of the oxidized residues, we'll see that everything looks the same except that the phosphate groups have no hydrogen atoms. We can select one of the oxidized NAD molecules, or we can try generating the structure we downloaded using the Charm General Force fields. Most likely, you'll want to use one of the versions in the Charm topology. The reason is that the version in the Charm topology corresponds to the form of NAD that is most common at physiologic pH. Select one of the oxidized NAD molecules from the Charm topology, then click Next. More files are actually created by Ligand Reader and Modeler than are shown in this summary page. To see them, first download the structure, then extract the archive and open the Charm GUI folder. In this case, 21 different PDB files were created. The one that contains both the full protein structure and the modified form of NAD is 5JY6Modified.pdb. Here's an animation of an NAD molecule. And here it is with the rest of the protein. As we saw earlier, Ligand Reader and Modeler uses the molecular structure for the corresponding ligand entry from RCSB. If we already know the name of the ligand in the RCSB ligand database, we can simply enter it in the ligand ID text box. In this case, the ligand ID is NAD, so we'll type that in and click Load Ligand ID. We can edit the structure just like we did in the previous video. This time, let's see what happens if we try to change the chirality of one of the chiral centers. Here it's important to remember that the solid wedge indicates a bond that is oriented towards the viewer, and a dashed wedge is for a bond oriented away from the viewer. To change the chirality of this atom, we need only to change the solid wedge to a dashed one and vice versa. We'll also remove this extra hydrogen atom so the structure is consistent with a physiological pH. Don't forget to change the oxygen atom's charge. When you're ready, deselect the option for finding similar residues, then click Next. In the previous examples, the section for isomers was empty, but this time two residues show up. Both correspond to the oxidized form of NAD, with the only differences being the names used for the atoms and the residue name. When you're ready, generate the structure by clicking Next. When the charm process finishes, download the result. This time, there are fewer files included, and this is because we loaded the ligand directly rather than loading the PDB structure. That's it for this video. In the next one, we'll show how to use Ligand Reader and Modeler to generate combinations of structures.